If it doesn't smell nice, then everybody that says Rihanna smells nice is lying. Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Fikun Shenunga. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. And if you're a returning subscriber, sign. I love you. <laughs> Thank you guys for always rocking with me and watching my videos. So today, we have a review video. It's a review of a perfume brand. So since I got into the UK, I had been looking for like a perfume brand to use. And if you know me, you know I always like to smell good. I always like to smell on point. Like you almost, always never catch me sleeping you get so back home in nigeria i would buy designer inspired perfume oils i used to sell them at some point when i have money we will buy designer perfumes but right now champagne living on an apple juice budget is the watchword because i'm a student i'm trying to survive on 20 hours a week of work so i have to find alternatives to like what i'm used to and because of that i found this instagram page to be honest and i kept seeing their you know ads and everything i was like okay you know what let me check you out and so i got four bottles from them they had a black friday sale and i got four bottles from them and to be honest, it was really nice. And I feel like three out of the four I bought, I liked. You see the, exactly. So that's what's left of this. But compared to my faves, you can see my faves, these three are my faves. And you can see that the bottles are almost half empty. And these are perfumes. These are perfumes I got like mid-December. So today, I don't have like perfume papers, but your girl, uh, I figured it out. And I have a new delivery from them. I know, I know, we're budgeting, but it's perfumes, I'm sorry. <laughs> I love perfumes. I feel like perfumes, gadgets and sometimes clothes and wigs let's just say it as it is i like the soft life so i'm gonna be opening this unboxing this for you guys today and then i'll be doing a review of the perfumes here so bear in mind that some of the perfumes here are i have two of them already so i'll just be reviewing this one again and then I also do a review of the ones I, I got before so that, cause I know I didn't reorder one of them. I didn't reorder this one cause it's still like full. But the funny thing is that I get compliments with this one also, but like my most complimented scents are these two. So yeah, <clears throat> let's get into it. So I'm here with my scissors let's unbox let's unbox so the thing we the thing with me getting packages right is there was a time i got a package from shane and it was like some things i wanted for my birthday and my package was stolen from the front of my house my package was stolen from the front of my house from my door so i don't even know if to be honest if it was stolen or if the rider, I mean the driver, dropped it, took a photo of it and carried it away. Because I went to all my neighbors, I was like, please, did you find a package? Did they were like, no, they didn't see a package. So I'm not going to say that my neighbors stole it or anything, but I didn't find the package. Ah, they even gave me like a coupon to spend on wine. Ah, I love wine. What? 75 pound wine voucher what, what are you people talking about 
it's about to be a party up in here i'm gonna drink i'm gonna drink wine i love wine so that means i'm gonna get wine and i'll also do a review yes i'm not being paid for it but you get the vibe so they put a thank you note thank you and yeah so the there's a list of the perfumes i got like and it shows it shows what perfume i bought and what perfume it was inspired by so i got this particular perfume because of rihanna if you know me if you know me you know i love rihanna so i got um this perfume everybody says rihanna smells nice and this is the perfume she uses the most apart from her brand so it's inspired by love don't be shy which is a killian perfume so this perfume is inspired by killian love don't be shy i got a perfume inspired by c by armani i got a perfume inspired by killian good girl gone bad i already had good girl don't gone bad and c in my previous collection i also got um green irish tweed again and oh really i got good girl gone bad twice so yeah obviously i really love that scent and then um eros versace so yeah those are the six perfumes i have here but i won't be unboxing the good girl gone bad because i already have it here and the c so i'll be unboxing love don't be shy eros and yeah that's all those are the those are the ones i haven't tried to be honest and yeah it's going to be like reaction first time reaction to those particular two but i also give you my thoughts on the others so for perfumes right i'm not like i don't really like girly perfumes if i'm being honest i prefer the masculine scents the woods and the mosques but we are going to okay i found the love don't be shy it's a matter of smelling like rihanna i'm about to be smelling like riri and that's that's very exciting for me this is the green irish tweed this is inspired by c i'm just gonna keep them to the side i feel like these are the only two different perfumes that i don't have uh these two are the good girl gone bad which is here already see every time i wear this perfume my friends know i'm coming they just they just know i'm coming because this it's it's a banger it's a banger so i'm gonna spray this and sort of trying to describe what it smells like to you guys and you know let's do it mm. ah. i'm obsessed i went to a store because i'm broke i don't have a hundred pound for perfume so i went to a store and tried this one before i went to buy it, before i bought this perfume is mad it's one of the female perfumes that i i get behind and as you can tell i'm obsessed with this one because now i have two new bottles and i haven't still finished this one so yeah love them love don't be shy is a perfume that when we finally stop this budgeting phase i will definitely be getting the original because if a perfume inspired by that perfume good girl gone bad is this nice like i can only imagine how much nicer the original will be jige but i feel like this one is affordable for budgeting bodies like me and ideally when you're buying one bottle it's about 23 pounds for the 100 mil this is 100 mil there are smaller bottles but i bought the 100 mil 
and the way the 100 mil comes is um one bottle is 23 pounds but if you get a package of three right you get it for 49.99 so yeah that makes sense to me because it's affordable you get i feel like even though affordability is like different for everybody but i feel like it's something that you can buy you can get three bottles of perfume for half of the price of one perfume you get then this is the one inspired by amani c now i like c amani i've always liked c amani but this perfume smells very very similar to c amani and i dare say it somewhat has like a longer staying power if you've used c amani before and you smell this perfume you will know it smells like C, right? But it's just a little bit more subtle than C is, right? So yeah. Then the Green Irish Tweed. Green Irish Tweed is my favorite from the Creed line. Now, you know how everybody gets behind Creed Adventures? I don't think Creed Adventure smells as nice as Green Irish Tweed or there's this other one I really like. Ah, it's a really nice scent and this has a very, very strong staying power. Like, I'll literally put it on my shirt in the morning and then the next morning, it's still smelling on my shirt. If I wore like, there's this jacket I have that's like f fuzzy. If I wear this perfume with it, the next time I'm picking up the jacket, I'm still smelling it. So yeah, this one and the good girl gone bad dupe. Amazing. Um, yeah, I'm going to review the Noah. Noah, I didn't re I didn't buy this again. Because I don't use it as often as the other ones. I feel like it doesn't smell like the Noah I know. Noah by Tom Ford. There's just this, there's just this slight difference, right? That it has, and I can't put, my, I can't place my finger on it. But if you've ever used Noah Tom Ford, Noah Tom Ford smells like fresh out of the shower, man. Do you get me? Like it just has this. Well, to me, it has this really nice fresh sense but this one doesn't give me that you get it doesn't give me i'm trying to check the the notes of noir let me see if i'm right because i've used a lot of per tom ford perfumes yeah it has amber powdery fresh spicy woody patchouli i feel like this one is not giving me the Unless the Noah I bought was not like the original, maybe I was scammed. But this one is not, doesn't smell like the Noah I have used before. So it's not like it's not a nice scent. I'm not just feeling it. Jige. But I still wear it because you can see that I have used part of it, just not as often as the others. I feel like the one I have used the most is the Green Irish Tweed. But I'm going to be using the Good Girl Gone Bad more often because I have two of it. Like, I'm going to be disturbing everywhere with that perfume. So now I'm going to unbox the um, 112. I feel like I should save this 112 for the last, which is the Love Don't Be Shy because it's about to be my favorite if it smells really nice. And yeah, this is the one inspired by Eros. Versace. The boys claim that Eros is a panty dropping fragrance. I smelled this once in a perfume shop, but I honestly cannot remember what it smells like. Hopefully, this impresses me. But if it doesn't, those that like it, Mm. Ah! It actually does 
smell nice. I actually like this smell. Man. This is the perfume I have been waiting for them to restock for three months. Yeah. So since Black Friday. If it doesn't smell nice, then everybody that says Rihanna smells nice is lying. Unless they have a different nose that I don't have. Wait, let me smell it on my body because what I'm smelling on the paper is not, it's not giving. What are the notes of this perfume? Let me go and check, please. It's giving a very, very funny smell. It, it smells familiar, but I can't place it. No, now, this can be the perfume that everybody's talking about that Rihanna smells nice. Uh uh. Out of all the fragrances I bought, this is the one I don't like. I'll be very honest. And this is the one I waited the longest for. And I'm actually disappointed because it's not giving what I wanted it to give. I was too excited for it. And it's not giving sexy, it's not giving anything. Mm -mm. Cut the cameras. And other people that are saying that Riri smells nice. If the dupe doesn't smell nice, where did you get your noses from? Are you not ashamed of yourself? Are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassed. To be honest. Anyway, so if I'm going to rate the perfumes from one to six, coming in at number six is the Love Don't Be Shy dupe, please. I'm over it. Number five would be the Noir. Number four would be the C. Number three would be the Eros. What is such a sexy scent? Number two would be Green Irish Tweed. Smells really nice and smells almost exactly like the original. And number one, for the first time in my life, I would really be getting behind a female scent. Good girl gone bad. There's some other scents I'm trying to, I'm gonna try and get from them, but right now a girl is on a budget and when these ones are going down i'll probably get more but if you want to shop these perfumes the name of the company is the essence vault and i have a discount code for you guys which i'm going to put in the description box and right here for i can't remember how many percent off but yeah it will be in the description you can click on the link in the description and make your order get some pounds off and try the perfumes you've always wanted to try they have like a a whole list of perfumes on their websites but if you're a lady good girl gone bad if you're a guy green irish tweet and eros the dupes they're really mad and if you if you've always liked noah i think you should get the noah dupe but as for this love don't be shy i don't know but if you've ever used the original before and you like this me i'm not really sure i like it you can get it and i feel like maybe if i get used to the scent of this love don't be shy i may eventually like it i may be like my regular perfume but for now nope nope not me anyways Thank you for hanging with me. Thank you for watching my video to this end, to the end. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Don't forget to click on the like button and the subscribe button. Share this video with your friends. 
anybody you know that is a perfume person and is also budgeting even if they're not budgeting please send them the link so they can watch my video and hopefully it helps them like pick fragrances for themselves for their friends trying to gift people i know i'll definitely be coming with another unboxing of a fragrance video because i'm always buying perfumes so yeah see you guys in my next video bye